Good morning, everybody. The sun is just coming up. It's going to be a nice, beautiful fall day. And today I want to show you guys how I got all these panels on one charge controller. All right, these are 250 watt panels and there's 24 of them. So that's a theoretical 6,000 watts of panels on one charge controller. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and go inside and take a look at how I did this. All right, guys, hold on. All right, everybody, so we're inside and uh, all those solar panels out there, those 24 250 watt solar panels are uh, connected to this single charge controller. All right, this is the uh, Victron Energy MPPT RS450-100 isolated smart charge controller with Bluetooth. So this charge controller, this is the secret sauce right here. This charge controller can handle 450 volts and 100 amps of solar. So those solar panels out there were actually wired into two strings, which this charge controller can handle two strings of solar panels as long as they are under 450 volts and combined 100 amps. So I have those two uh, strings of solar panels wired into this charge controller. And as you can see on this LCD screen, there's solar one, it's still early in the day. So that's one string and there's solar two just appeared and that's the other string. Now the solar one that uh, was the string of panels that are oriented as you saw in the beginning, they have a very pretty steep winter angle. And as it's already November, they're pulling in quite a bit more sun in the morning than Solar 2, which is the other string of panels that had definitely more of a flat, um, more of a summer type angle to them. So anyways, combined right now between these two uh, arrays, as you can see in just a second, as it cycles, 1,042 watts thereabouts coming in between the two uh, strings. So this uh, charge controller can handle two sets of solar arrays. Okay, there's solar one and solar two, as you saw on the uh, screen there. So we got a red and a black for solar one and a red and a black for solar two. And we have a red and a black for the battery connection as well as a ground connection. I'm not going to open this up because it's really simple. Like I said, you have two studs for the battery connection and four studs for two strings of solar panels. Now, obviously, within each string of solar panels, you want to keep the angle pretty much the same. Okay, so you don't want to, for example, on the same string have some panels pointing east and some south because you're always only going to get um, what the least productive panel is producing. But what this does allow you to do, say you have a roof or you want to orient your panels in two different directions, you can put all of your, say, southeast facing panels on solar one and all of your south facing panels on solar two. Or as I've done, I have a winter angle array on solar one and more of a summer uh, solar array on solar two. And I'm not gonna bother to change the angle of the panels. I just can accept that one array is gonna produce more in the summer and the other array is gonna produce more in the winter and I'm fine with that. So anyways, um, I think that pretty well covers what you need to know about this. Um, this is great because this 450 volts allows you to uh, string a lot of panels together in series. As you can see, what I've done is 12 panels in series. 
um, two solar arrays, each with 12 panels in series. And so you're going to be able to maintain that small wire size, you know, that 10 gauge wire size that you can use the MC4 connectors on. And not only that, but you're probably going to eliminate the need to have a solar junction box where you connect multiple arrays in parallel. So you're going to save you're going to save on a solar junction box too. That being said, this is a pretty expensive uh, charge controller, but man, for what what it does for you for these specs here, it's just absolutely fantastic, and I'm very happy with it so far. So anyways, without further ado, I want to jump into the app and show you the app because that's probably one of the coolest features uh, of this charge controller, and it allows you to monitor everything and even a history of what your panels have been producing. So without further ado, I'm going to stop the video here and we're going to jump into the app. All right, this is uh, the Victron Connect app. And as you can see, I've got two devices on this app right now. We've got a battery, battery monitor called Tyco Station and what we're concerned with right now, the uh, MPPT RS450 charge controller called Soul. So I'm going to go ahead and open Soul and we'll take a look at what's going on. As you can see in this screen, you can get kind of some basic information like battery voltage, power coming in, state of charge, and current. So if we open Soul, we can see some nice statistics here we can see the total power coming in right now and if we scroll down we can see the power coming in on solar one and solar two individually as well as the voltage of the different arrays and the current coming in if we go down further we can see uh, solar isolation resistance which has to do with the grounding of the solar panels these solar panels do have to be grounded in order for the charge controller to work, and that's a safety feature. So if the isolation resistance drops below a certain threshold, the charge controller will error out. And we can also see some battery statistics like battery voltage, current coming into the batteries. Uh, you can also use a temperature sensor with the charge controller, and we can see the current state of charge is bulk. Now, if we go to history, we get this really nice graph of, it's a daily graph of um, the, basically the yield of the charge controller. So you can see down in the left today, we have a yield of 1.17 kilowatt hours. It's still early, a photovoltaic max of 1,975 watts and a voltage max of 431.5 volts. Now, if we kind of scroll through the days here, okay, on this day, now on the far left, 11 days ago, I pushed it to the limit. I basically tried to use all the power that was coming in, or at least most of it, running a heater, etc., and got a total photovoltaic yield for the day of 13.75 kilowatt hours a photovoltaic max of 3,259 watts and a voltage max of 428. So this is pretty cool because you can see basically how your system is performing each day and over time. And we can also click this button in the left here, zoom out, and we can see uh, for the last 30 days what the uh, charge controller has been producing on one screen. So this is a nice overview of the performance of the charge controller. And at the bottom, we have a lifetime total in a kilowatt hour yield of 352. If we go back, um, we can also click on trackers and we can look at the same graph just modified so that we can see each individual tracker. So we can see on this day, solar one produced 2.99 kilowatt hours and solar two produced 2.82 kilowatt hours. So we've got this tracker view or we can go back to the overall view. And in this overall view, we are seeing um, three different colors. The white is bulk, 
the gray is absorbed and the light blue gray or the bluish gray at the top is uh, float. So we can see the amount of power generated in each stage of the charge cycle. Now, the other function we can do in here, we can also click on this at the top trends and we can get a graph in real time of different features. So if we click on those graph uh, tab here, we can do solar one voltage, solar two voltage, battery temperature, solar one power, solar two power, battery voltage, battery current, solar one current, solar two current, um, et cetera. So right now we're looking at a graph of power coming in. And as you can see on the left, we have blue and that's solar two power. And on the right, we have orange and that's solar one power. So we can see that right now solar one power is bringing in more power than the solar two array. But it's really cool because we can just kind of watch. It's kind of mesmerizing. We can kind of see how the power is varying over time and the peaks and valleys graphed in real time. We can zoom in and out and we can see how as the sun rises, the power is generally increasing. We might have some shade from a cloud or shade from maybe a tree branch, but overall the solar panel power is increasing and we can see that in real time on this graph. So that's just really cool. All right, so I think that about does it. It's getting uh, to be later in the day. It's about nine o'clock and we're pulling in 2,100 watts now. So um, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this uh, MPPT RS 450 from Victron Energy is going to save you money in terms of wire size. It's going to save you money in terms of not needing a solar junction box. And it's one charge controller that can handle so many panels. I've got 24 panels, two strings, 12 panels each, wired in series, and they're all going to this one charge controller. So if you have any questions, any comments, I will try to answer them. And uh, thank you for watching. All right, bye.